All right, class, let me try another one. Hopefully this will be helpful to somebody. It says here in, uh, uh, well, it's chapter two of our college physics, but again, it's one-dimensional motion, so it's the chapter three from the more, more advanced book, and it's under the challenging ones, um, and it says this. It says a 100-meter race, the winner is timed to be 11.2 seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. The second place finisher is then at 11.6 seconds. How far is the second place finisher behind the winner when she crosses the finish line? I'll go ahead and assume that the velocity for each runner is constant throughout the race. Uh, now that's probably an overly simplification, but it's gonna it's gonna help a lot. Um, and I think what makes it maybe a little challenging, uh, a couple things. Uh, but one of them is just kind of keeping straight that we've got two objects. So I'm going to call runner two and runner, or one, one and two. And so one will be the winner of the race, and number two will be the second place of the race. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you were to write out an equation for the motion of the winner as well as an equation of position for the second place. And if you take what they're saying, go ahead and, you know, just say, well, they're going to run about a constant speed. Sure, at the beginning, there's a little part where they, they have to come off the blocks and accelerate upward, okay. But for the most part, it's a constant speed. So with that in mind, you're saying the acceleration is zero and you're really saying it for both runners. So I'll cross that out. Uh, I guess I'd also say that they're each starting at position zero. So the starting line would be position zero. And so because of that and knowing that it's a 100 meter raise, you could put in the winner is at a position of 100 meters at a time of 11.2. The second place finisher is at 100 meters at 11 points. What do we have here? Six. So that would allow us to solve for this initial, and I don't even know if I should call it initial or final because it's always the same speed, but allow us to figure out what that speed, that constant speed is across the, the rays. So for the winner, it's going to be a little faster. Makes sense. That's why they're the winner. And we get an 8.93 meters per second. And for the second place, 100 uh, divided by 11.6. And we are a little slower. Again, makes sense. That's what I got second place at 8.62 meters per second. Okay. Now, keep in mind what we're after. What we're after is how far is the second place. Let's see how they phrase it here. How far is the second place finisher behind the winner? Okay. Now, I, I'm sure this is under this category of challenging problems because we've got to keep track of the two people. But also we have to kind of interpret or, or, or read it. So you might do something like this. Uh, knowing the, 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 the speed of the winner, and I'll just continue on down here, the equation for the position of the, the winner would be their speed, 8.93, multiplied by any moment in time. So you could put in one second or two seconds or three seconds or four seconds, put it in, that tells you what the position is. And obviously, if you put in 11.2, then you're going to be at a position 100. Okay. Over here, if I were to write the equation for the position of the second runner, it's the same logic, 8.62 multiplied by the time. And again, I can put any moment in time. I could put in one second and say, hey, where's the position of the runner after one second or two seconds or three seconds? So if you 
are reading the math here and, and know what that means, then why don't we do this? We're, we're really trying to figure out where this person is in comparison to this person when this person wins the race. So that means that over here, what I'm going to do is ask, where is runner number two at the moment of 11.2 seconds? Because that's when the winner finishes the race. So, we know the winner would be at the 100 meter mark at this particular time. Where is second place? And clearly, they would have to be under 100 here. So, I'm going to take that speed and multiply it by 11.2 and get a 96.55. And so if I go 100 minus that last answer being a difference of about 3.45 meters. So it's not much time, but it is a relatively good sized distance. You can easy, easily tell who got first and who got second in this. Uh, uh, the reason the time is so small because they're, they're going so fast. But clearly this, I mean, three meters is 10 feet. So clearly the, the winner is quite a bit ahead of second place. It's 10 and 11, almost 12 feet here. All right. Uh, but 11 and change is, is how much further along the second, uh, the, the, the first place winner is compared to the second. But again, not really too much to the problem other than a good test of, can you take the words, uh, can you uh, convert the words into equation and, and interpret those? In other words, you're not just taking an equation and plugging and chugging into it. You've you got to think about what they actually, actually mean here. All right. That was a good one. And not too long by now.